Hey, welcome to my channel Technologies in Industry 4.0. Today, in this video we will discuss RESTful Web API with Flask in details. So, let's start the video. Introduction Flask makes it very easy to create a RESTful web API. The known root, decorator besides its method's optional argument, may be used to declare the roots. That controls the resource URLs exposed by the service. JSON data working is too simple. Because JSON data comprised with a request is automatically exposed as a request.json Python dictionary. A response that requires to contain JSON may be simply created from a Python dictionary using Flask's Jonify helper function. In this video, we will learn how to create a RESTful web API with Flask. Description Flask RES tool is an extension for Flask. It provides help for fast building REST APIs. It is a lightweight abstraction, which does work with the existing libraries. Flask RES Tool supports best practices with minimal setup. Flask RES Tool should be simple to pick up if we are familiar with Flask. Installation Using pip install Flask RES Tool. Pip install Flask RESTful. A minimal Flask app. From Flask import Flask app equals Flask underscore underscore name underscore underscore at approot slash hello slash method sad face git post def welcome return hello world if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore app run host equals 0.0.0.0 port equals 105 save this as a pi.py and run it using the python interpreter Go to terminal and type python app.py, i.e. python filename.py. We would see something like this. Running on http forward slash forward slash 0.0.0.0 colon 105. Press Ctrl plus C to quit. Launch any web browser. To look at the app in action, go to http forward slash forward slash localhost 105 slash hello slash. Working of the code line by line. Import the Flask class as from Flask import Flask. Create an instance of the class as app equals Flask, underscore underscore name underscore underscore. We use the root decorator to ask the Flask what URL should trigger the function. At app root slash hello slash method sad face get post. Methods indicates which HTTP methods are allowed. The default is get. If underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals underscore underscore main underscore 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 name underscore underscore is a specific variable in Python. It takes the value of the script name. This line makes sure that our Flask app runs only when it is executed in the main file. It will not be executed when it is imported into some other file. Run the Flask application app.run, host equals 0.0.0.0, port equals 105. Host indicates the server on which we want the Flask application to run. The default value for host is localhost and 127.0.0.1. 0.0.0.0 show as all IPv4 addresses on the local machine. This makes sure that the server will be reachable from all addresses. The default port value is 5000. We may set the parameter port o use the port number of our choice. Rules for variables. We can add variable sections to a URL by using variable underscore name. The function gets the variable as a keyword argument. From flask import flask. App equals flask underscore underscore name underscore underscore at app root forward slash int number forward slash def incrementer number 
Return increment number is plus str number plus one at app root forward slash string name forward slash def hello name. Return hello plus name app dot run. To start the Flask application, run the above code. Open the browser and go to http forward slash forward slash localhost 5000 slash gmit. We will look at the output as hello gmit. The output will be increment number is 11 when we go to http forward slash forward slash localhost 5000 slash 10. Creating an API blueprint. The roots linked with a RESTful API form a self-contained subset of the application. Therefore, putting them in their own blueprint is the best way to keep them well organized. A common structure of the API blueprint within the application is shown in the below example. Flaky app slash API underscore one underscore zero dash underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot py user dot py post dot py comment dot py authentication dot py errors dot py decorators dot py Note that how the package used for the API added a version number in its name. It can be included as another package with a different version number and both APIs may be served at the same time when a backward incompatible version of the API requires to be introduced. This API blueprint applies each resource in a separate module. Modules are similarly added to take care of authentication, error handling, and to provide custom decorators. The blueprint constructor can be seen in the below example. From Flask import blueprint. API equals blueprint, API, underscore underscore name underscore underscore. From. Import authentication, posts, users, comments, errors. The registration of the API blueprint may be seen in the following example. Def create underscore app, config underscore name. Hashtag from dot API underscore one underscore zero import API as API underscore one underscore zero underscore blueprint app register underscore blueprint API underscore one underscore zero underscore blueprint URL underscore prefix equals slash API slash v one point zero hashtag for more details visit https colon slash slash www.technologiesinindustry4.com slash 2022 one slash restful-web-api-with-flask.html.